Mr. <laughs> not Mr. Mr. Hawk Peterson. <laughs> Said, you boys have fun? 
jumped in the truck and drove into the sun, my brother and I decided that we'd draw straws to see who'd be first to ride this outlaw. Loser had to ride him. Winner got to wait to ride him back tomorrow. So we left it up to fate. Well, we drew straws, and for the first time, I won. I didn't have to put my saddle on that brawny son of a gun. Well, we saddled up both horses, and old Satan stood still. Now, my brother mounted up, and I waited for the thrill of seeing my brother get thrown and go flying through the air. You know what's happened to me, but for him it was rare. We rode out to the gate, made a left at the Y, headed for the hills on our five mile ride. My brother was nervous, tell my jobs. Clacks the tide, he'd swallowed his chalk. His voice was shaking and sore his hands. Yeah, this here was one scared cowboy man. We rode old Satan fine for the first mile or two. I started to wonder what this pony would do. I rode up beside him just to see how bad he bucked, and he was really peeved. I shook out a loop, and I swung it around in the air. My brother looked over and said, don't you dare. <laughs> About then my rope smacked old Satan in the rear. He spun like a top and he jumped like a deer. He jumped so high my brother's nose began to bleed. Yeah, this was one bucket and fighting old Steve. Well, my brother hung on. And as they cleared the barrel ditch, the last words I heard were, pick up my hat, you son of a... And they were gone. <laughs> but he was pitching all the way. My brother definitely earned his keep that day. Old Satan twisted and jumped all the way back home while I rode behind and enjoyed the show. <laughs> We got back to the ranch. My neighbor was waiting. He was laughing like a hyena at my brother and Satan. Old Satan finally stopped and my brother got down. There was fire in his eyes and his mouth was a brown. He called me a dirty little rat some other choice names and said, I better hunt my hole. This will be my last day. He yanked me off my horse and threw me on the ground. Stood underneath his fist clenched ready to pound. His face was beat red. The veins popped out of his neck. I knew what it is that this was going to hurt like heck. All once he stopped. A smile crossed his face. Meanwhile, I was still squirming and pleading my case. He just looked down at me with a sly grin and said, Don't worry, little brother, I ain't gonna bust your head. I'll just wait till tomorrow to restore my own new pride. Because tomorrow, little brother, it's your turn. <laughs> this, uh, I got one, and then I'm poking back my prayer, and I'm done. Promise. Promise. We're rolling. This is a joke that Sean told. It was one of my favorite jokes. I don't know if he stole this from another poet, or another cowboy. I'm sure I've heard this before, but he told me this joke and I wrote this one. It's called Bull. In a corner of the pasture, three bulls gathered to exchange the news and the gossip of the day. The big story that came out, the word in most, was that a new bull was coming their way. First old bull puffed up his chest and said, he ain't getting none of mine. I got a hair of 40 cows. I can't live with 39. <laughs> Second bull he bristled up too, though he was not quite as big as number one. He said, well, I got 30 cows to call my own. It takes all 30 to make me run. The third bull was the smallest by quite a sight. So I only got 10 cows, but I won't give up without a fight. As they finished speaking, the truck pulled in and backed up to the gate. The door swung open and out it ran. 4,000 pounds of hate. The new bull ran straight to the face, ripped it down with one fell swoop, turned and charged a feet bump, knocked it through the air with a loop to loop. He bellowed and screamed and pawed the earth, creating one hell of a racket. The other three bulls just stood and stared, their eyes popping out of the sockets. As they watched the show, their blood ran cold and their knees shook with fear. They knew the time for change was coming and time was drawing near. First old bull that lowered his head said, boys, I've reconsidered. <laughs> Maybe I can live without 20 of my cows to help appease this critter. Second bull thought and said, I think you're right, I, I can live with a hair of 10. This old boy can have 20 of mine and suddenly crossed again. They looked over at the third of their crew, the one who was smallest by far. He was snorting and pawing and kicking the earth, his red eyes ready to charge. The other two bulls couldn't believe the sight they thought they saw. They said, what in the world do you think you're doing? Is your brain developed a flaw? You're out of weight by 3,000 pounds, he'll kill you. And do it now. Oh, that fellow's the third bull said, I'm just trying to show up and not a cow. <laughs> 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 this, uh, this prayer. Actually, this prayer was included in a, a book that they published. It was a time for the largest collection of cowboy poetry ever published, and they closed the book with this poem. It's called Prayer for Man and Horse. Well, now I lay me down to sleep in the
this bedroll on the ground. I pray the Lord my soul to keep if tomorrow ain't around. But Lord, if it's my time to join you in the great by and by, well, sir, can we bring my horse for your remote in the sky? I've had him since a child, and he was just a colt. Not long to ride him through the sky, so I rode behind him, Bolt. We'll work hard, Lord. We'll ride your fences all day long. I promise not to chase no angels, and I'll try hard to do no wrong. It's just in my point now, you see, we're a team. I guess you already know that. I suppose you see the mean old Roman partners, it won't be so till the end. So please, Lord, don't take me and let you take my friend. But if you should choose, in all your wisdom and sage, to take one before the other for bad health or old age, well, keep us busy till the other's time has come, so we won't miss too much the other one. And we'll wait for our union, then go riding through the skies, chasing them long one cattle with your ram upon their sides. Well, thank you, Lord, for listening to the simple cowboy's prayer. I'll talk to you tomorrow, though I know not from where, but I'll lift my heart to heaven and pray to you, of course. As I do most every night, a prayer for man and horse. Amen. Good night.